the past like three or four years, so many companies have created an electric rideable, whether it's a skateboard, a scooter, or a bike. One of the more interesting, crazier ones is this thing called the Sma Circle S1. It's an Indiegogo project. They asked for 30,000 and they got 160,000 in funding. They bill it as an e-bike that you can take on an airplane. So it's an electric bike that folds up small enough to fit in some sort of backpack. And I have one here in the office. I'm gonna unbox it, charge it up, and then go for a ride. It looks like it's gonna rain outside. Hoping it doesn't, we'll make it work. This is, this is something. Charger. And the unit itself. Wow, this thing is tiny. I think this thing is the combination battery and where you sit. This is the small circle. It's a pre-production prototype unit. They told me this one weighs a little bit heavier than the final version. I feel like this thing weighs around 20 pounds, but look at how small this thing folds down into. It didn't come with directions. I couldn't find directions in the box or in the bag. So I'm going to consult their Indiegogo page and figure this thing out. So this thing is the battery, and I'm pretty sure this is where you sit as well, because you've got the contacts there, and I bet that plugs right in. And uh, this is the battery brick. I plugged it in. It's red, which probably means it's charging. Also, it has a fan in here, and then it looks like it, uh, it melted at some point. I'm going to definitely keep an eye on this thing while it charges. Okay, so that unfolds that, and then that locks in like that. Press in here, that wheel comes out like this. You press in here and that wheel comes out like that. Battery plugs in right here and then handlebars. Looks like it, uh, you just sort of do this. Yeah, and this is it. And then this is the throttle, accelerator. It's probably the brake and wow. This is, uh, this looks like something out of Tron. I don't think anything lights up on this particular version, but the way this thing unfolded and became, a, it's, it's pretty tiny, but it is, uh, it's definitely something that I'm going to be riding on very soon. I've got this thing basically fully assembled, save for the battery that's charging. Didn't need any instructions, all pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna let the battery charge for a little bit and then I'm gonna hop on and go for the first ride in here. I'm on the Indiegogo page just looking at some specs and uh, they say that the production unit, the one that ships in October, is going to be carbon fiber. The body's gonna be carbon fiber, so it's gonna weigh 15.4 pounds. The battery allows you to go about 12 miles on a single charge, but it takes two and a half hours to charge that battery. And in my opinion, one of the most important specs, top speed, 12.4 miles an hour. It's, it's pretty slow. Nothing on here about weather resistance. Can I ride it through a puddle? Can I ride it in the pouring rain? I have no idea. But I think it's safe to say that this thing is not water resistant. And like I said before, the tagline mentions taking it on an airplane. The batteries are 90 watt hour and you can't fly with a battery that's 100 watt hours or above. So this thing is cleared for takeoff. I think the battery finished charging. I bet it came with some charge. I don't hear the fan anymore. And that light is green. All right, fully charged battery. Oh, I think this, does this actually? Oh, okay, so that lifts up like that. Power buttons over here, uh, charging port, and then USB cable for powering phones and whatnot back here. So. Let's see, I'm gonna assume that this slides on like that, okay, and then push the power button.
Okay. Now, does it just work? No. Again, this thing didn't come with directions and I'm not really 100% sure how to work it yet. It's beeping. It's beeping. Still beeping. Maybe I have to be sitting on it. That, that, that beep sounds like, that beeping sequence sounds like it's on. And the directions on this battery are not in English. Looks like I will be emailing them, asking them what I'm doing wrong. I sent a quick email over to the company and I also just watched the Indiegogo video again. Apparently these lights on the battery are supposed to light up and there's definitely a headlight on this Moss Circle. So I'm waiting to hear back. All right, fast forward like an hour or two. I spoke with the folks at Sma Circle and be, like I said, this is a pre-production prototype unit. So the thing doesn't exactly function 100% properly right now. So my issue was is so the seat, right? The seat will uh, come up and down like this, but they said to leave it down and I'll have a better connection with the internal. So it's on. And yay, it works. Except the studio is really small, so I can't really get much mobility in here, but it works. Woohoo! Whoa! Okay, let's take this thing outside. Noticing some jerkiness. It's like not letting me throttle. It's definitely a prototype. In terms of actually riding this thing, there's the throttle for your right thumb and then the brake is where your left thumb is. The seat is not very comfortable at all, it kinda hurts my butt, and I've only been riding it for like two or three minutes right now. Um, and, I, and I mentioned before, there's like some sort of jerkiness. Um, it's definitely a prototype unit, you can, you can see it, you can feel it. And then the way it feels while you're riding, it's a front wheel drive, and then you kind, if you like make a, a hard like kind of jerk motion, feels like you're gonna lose control, but I bet like with most things, this thing just takes a little bit of getting used to. My thoughts on the Sma Circle S1 are that it is a really, really unique take on the foldable electric bike. It is a prototype, so it doesn't function fully. The seat, mm, not so comfortable. I do wish it went faster, and I'll have to get my hands on a full production unit when they ship this October.